welcome students today's class we are going to see about 9th standard practical biology so in this class we are going to see about identification of microorganisms as we know we cannot see the microorganism with our naked eye we can see the microorganism only by means of microscopes in our practical they are giving four specimens that is three bacteria and one virus three bacteria we can see with the help of this common microscope virus that's able to see with the help of common microscope we can see only through electron microscope so uh, in this practical they give say a slide like this so this slide should be mounted in the microscope either by yourself or by your science teacher it is mounted in the microscope you can see the specimen through the microscope by adjusting the eyepiece lens after that you have to identify and uh, write the notes for this practical we have five marks identification one mark diagram with parts two marks then the structure points one mark the uses that is disease causing or beneficial activity of the microbes getting one mark totally you can easily score five mark with the help of this practical so we go by one by one specimens first i mounted as slide which is escherichia coli so escherichia coli commonly called as e coli which is present in our intestine how can we differentiate these three bacteria first you identify uh, escherichia coli having flagella with so many plasids then we have vibrio cholerae which is commercial which is causing cholera third one is lactobacillus which is without any flagella which is always in the form of chain both are in broad shape but vibrio cholerae in cholera shape Uh, escherichia coli and we have lactobacillus both are rod shaped but escherichia coli we have flagella then lactobacillus there is no flagella the last one what we are going to see is uh, adenovirus that is hiv which we cannot see with the help of microscope we can see only means of electron microscope so you can get a specimen copy of photograph like this you can easily identify it is a spherical shape uh, in which having a double helix rna as we having a dna as identical material but this uh, hiv having a rna as identical material same thing it has a enzyme called uh, transcriptase which is dna transcriptase then it is causing hiv like that you have to draw the diagram and label the parts then uh, identification it is i this slide is identify as escherichia coli then you have to write the structure it is having a rod shape and it is having flagella Uh, escherichia coli uh, playing a vital role in uh, genetics uh, genetic engineering which is producing human insulin with the help of small extra chromosomal dna it is called plasmid the next specimen what we are going to see is uh, vibrio cholerae it is a bacteria uh, identify as vibrio cholerae you draw the structure and label the parts then you have identification uh, it is a vibrio cholerae uh, which is causing a cholera then it is a bacteria like that you have to write uh, for the second part the third slide what we are observe is lactobacillus which is rod shape often it is form of chains it is enclosed by cell wall which is don't having any flagella same thing this uh, beneficial bacteria which convert milk into curd so all the dairy products what we are getting by from the milk is done by the lactobacillus the last one is this photography is identifies hiv or adenovirus which is uh, spherical in shape uh, which having a double helix rna structure then it having a invertase enzyme then it is causing hiv or uh, aids in the human being so that's our students with this practical you can easily gain five marks from the practical section either you can get the slide for this three uh, bacteria that is as e coli lactobacillus and vibrio cholerae or you can get the photography like this for the itching thank you